Hello everyone, I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I really hope that this year 2024 is a year of many blessings to you and your family. Today, we're gonna talk about some updates that I'm expecting to take place in 2024. These are gonna be some of the most important updates in the immigration world. So please pay attention because it's gonna be very important for us to know what are the topics that are gonna be most impacted in the immigration world in 2024. And we're gonna start with the increase of USCIS fees. So, you know, if you've been planning to apply for citizenship or perhaps for a family petition or for premium processing, just know that it will be likely for you to pay some more money this year, 2024, because there's gonna be an increase in immigration fees. Also, uh, we're gonna have to be paying close attention to the US presidential elections, depending on who wins the elections, then there's gonna be lots of significant changes in immigration, specifically with TPS, the Humanitarian Parole Program, and the Family Reunification Program. Also, um, it's gonna impact people that are seeking asylum. Now, another thing that we need to be keeping a, a close eye on is the DACA program. As many of you know, there's a lot of um, young undocumented uh, children that are uh, able to have this immigration relief. However, because there has been a lot of setbacks uh, with this program, it is likely that many people will not be able to enjoy the benefits of this program that could qualify for the program, but will not be able to enjoy the benefits of that program. So we'll see what happens with this topic. Last but not least, under the Cuban Adjustment Act, there's a lot of um, Cuban migrants that uh, are not given parole when they come through the border, but instead they're given something that is called an I-228. And this form that they're, that they're given doesn't allow them to apply for adjustment of status. So now a federal court will consider whether that I-228 is a form of parole for purposes of the Cuban Adjustment Act. So we're gonna bring you all the updates about immigration on this topic. So, you know, follow us on our social media, make sure that you that you stay tuned, that you stay informed. And to me and my team is always a privilege to serve each and every one of you. So I wanna wish you a happy new year. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, immigration updates. And if you have any questions or need any immigration assistance, feel free to give us a call. We're here to assist you. Take care.